Hi, and welcome to Click Fix. This video will demonstrate how to call the ClickSense repository API using PowerShell. This article shows two methods. The first method is to authenticate through the Click proxy service to call the API. This will rely on the type of authentication that has been set on the proxy. First, let's open PowerShell. I like to use PowerShell ISE. It's easy to just copy and paste the script. This one uses the default virtual proxy with Windows authentication. Then just update the server name. My server is click server2. In this case, we use current user to connect with Windows credentials. And we get this information about the repository because we're calling the about endpoint on the repository API. This call is dependent on the proxy authentication type. For example, let's bring up the management console. You can see here that we're using this one without a prefix. If I were to use this one, which is using JOT authentication, then I would just add the header for JOT authentication here. Just add the header for JOT authentication with bearer, and then paste my token. If I go to this website, I've already configured my token. So I just need to copy and paste it in here. And then, since I'm calling a different virtual proxy, I add the virtual proxy prefix here. And in this case, I would remove that because that is for Windows authentication. Then if I run the script, I will get exactly the same result. But in this case, I'm authenticated in a different way. Now let's take a look at the second method mentioned in the article, which is basically calling the repository API directly on port and for the repository, that port is 4242. If you call it from another machine, you will need to open that port to make the API call. So here is the script for this call. Just copy and paste it in PowerShell in the same way. I'll just briefly explain what the script does. So when you make the API call directly on this port, then you need to use the client certificate to be able to authenticate. In this case, we're putting the certificate in this variable. So the script will search for a certificate called click client in the personal certificate store for the current user. If we go to the MMC and add the certificate snap in for my user account, you'll find the click client certificate. Just be aware that the script will use the first one in the list. So in case you happen to have several listed here, you might run into an issue in running the script. Alternatively, if you have several certificates listed, you could replace this line here with a thumbprint of the certificate. You can search in PowerShell documentation about how to use thumbprints. Also, you could read it from disk. This would be another option you could learn more about in PowerShell documentation. When you run the call reading from disk, it would be in almost the same way, putting that in the certificate argument, then you would be able to do that call. Now for this script copied from the article, the name of the server needs to be updated, pointing to server name click server2. Also be aware here, you need to have a root admin user in most cases. Now running the call gets you exactly the same result. There is an issue you might run into when making the API call using localhost or using a name that is not recognized as trusted. You might see this message about could not establish trust relationship. In this case, you would need to ignore that policy. So just copy this piece of code ahead of the API call. That will have PowerShell ignore all trust policies. Once you do that, even if the name of the server is not trusted, it will still let you perform the call and get the proper result. I hope that helped. If you need more information, please search in the support portal. Thanks for watching. Nailed it.